Hello, we are Group 03CF and we are analyzing the effects of residential road services on service heat ion effect in the Ottawa region. This report is looking into surface heat ion effect. A surface heat ion is the phenomenon in which energy from the sun is absorbed by the urban surfaces, such as roads and pavements, resulting in a significant rise in the surrounding area. Temperature It is mainly due to the thermal and radioactive properties of the material used in the pavement. The field testing takes place between the months of May to September on a bi-weekly basis three times per testing session. The first test in the morning at 7.30 a.m. followed by a test in the afternoon at 4 p.m. and finally one more in the evening at 7.30 p.m. Testing days are chosen based on the weather conditions for the week, preferably sunny days with little cloud. Testing cannot be performed on days with rain. All tests take place on the Gonquin College campus outside of the northern exit of the ACCE building. The pocket airflow tractor is used to determine the surrounding air temperature of the three testing samples. The pocket airflow tractor is held roughly 12 inches or a foot above the testing surface until it reaches a consistent temperature. The thermal imager is used to record the surface temperature. The temperature is taken from the center of the testing area to ensure a consistent heat measurement throughout the sample. The thermal imager is held 3 feet approximately waist height from the testing surface. Three measurements are taken in 30 second intervals to give a average temperature for a more accurate reading. As you can see in the graph, asphalted concrete has proven to possess a higher surface temperature with a difference of up to 12 Celsius, which both paper stones and concrete remain approximately the same.